What is going to happen, everybody? Nolan North, Troy Baker, it's Retro Replay. It's the Thanksgiving show, and uh, it's lunch, you, bud. It's lunch, you, dude. Oh, you drank without me. Mm. Get ready to give thanks. What a year. Yeah. It's crazy year. By the way, not just the calendar year. Right. But this year, last year, this time, mm -hmm. I'm having Thanksgiving at a friend's house That's because right. uh, the, the Woolsey fires in California uh, basically evicted me from not our basically home. literally uh, yeah literally evicted us from our home and uh, you don't live here right now bye so bye if i'm if i'm starting off this whole shebang with what am i thankful for uh being home with my family yeah, and dude. everybody being safe and like <laughs> not being on fire or smokied yeah right yeah well it was mostly smoke damage uh, it was uh, in our house but it was bad and i never knew that that was such a thing but environmental that stuff gets in the air and you know it's just you know, lungs, and especially with what we do, it's like no bueno. Living, breathing, with with what we do, acting, sure, using our vocal cords. But if you ain't got your health, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. Here he goes. Ah, oh, that was a fast one. I enjoy turkey because they're dirty and they have their scrotum under their beak. I don't think it's their scrotum actually. No, you can't like go kick you in the nuts and uh, like a little. It's weird. It kind of looks like a dog. God. I make that noise when I touch my own genitals. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Jingle balls to the walls, fellas. Listen up. Our good friends at Manscaped would like you to know that untrimmed pubes are a thing of the past. Time to get your, uh, your, your, your genitals in gear, okay? <laughs> no. Give the gift of shaving this holiday season. Manscaped Perfect Package 2.0. Troy, take it away. Uh, the Perfect Package 2.0 includes uh, you, one of your favorite things, the Crop Preserver, which Ugh. is basically deodorant for your nether regions uh, to keep you smelling fresh and clean all day long. It's amazing. Uh, it also comes with a pair of Manscaped boxer briefs. These are super cool. Actually, I thought they were just going to be kind of a thrown-in thing. They're like, well, these are, you, it's, it's the perfect reveal. You They're walk out in a really little boxer briefs and you go, what do you think of this? And you pull them down. They're fast and like, uh, they keep you, your junk feeling fresh all day long because you can kind of do the Show me back and forth if you want to. Uh, it's time to upgrade these over used pair of boxers, of course, uh, to Manscaped High Performance Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. They'll be very brief about it. Um, the whole company is anti-chafing, I believe. It's just, all anti-chafing. They are just They were chafed experts. as children and no more. Uh, they will not be chafed anymore. You will not be chafed. You'll be chuffed because you can actually go to manscaped.com. Not bad, right? Uh, use the code RETRO. That's this show. And you'll get 20% off. Plus, you'll get free shipping. Uh, and you'll, you and your partner will be very, very thankful. And your balls will thank you. Thanks, Nolan. Deeper voice. Thanks, Nolan. There you go. What else are you grateful for? Like let's let's this isn't this is kind of like our year in year end review or year in review. How do you yeah, say that? Uh, uh, year, year end. No, I think it's year it's our year in review. Oh, I feel weird. Our year end year in review. Yes. Rear end. <laughs> rear view. It's rear view. Rear. It's our rear. Thanksgiving review. It's our, what, uh, let's, let's review Thanksgiving. I give it a thumbs up. I give it an eight out of ten stars. I don't know. It's a. It's been. Look, this year's been. Um, the the last two travel. years have been crazy. The craziest of my entire life. Wow. New baby. New baby has fundamentally changed New life yeah. dynamic. Um, the way I operate as a human being, there's so many things that I've had to give up. I, um, uh, there's so many comedians have made jokes about, you know, just kind of like how the, your bathroom becomes like your, your sanctuary where you can just kind of like find peace. It's like, I understand that. I love being around my son, but he's at the age right now where he's just like, wherever you are, I'm going to be there. Mm. And so he can open up the door and he's like, daddy. I'm like, that's absolutely right come on in but what, poo -poo. Poo -poo. what are you doing yes. dad dad it is the greatest feeling in the world i'm not gonna lie it's it's there is no better sound on the entire planet in the history of all mankind neither tongues of men or angels can compare to when my son says daddy it's just the best it's the absolute best that's one number one thing that i'm thankful for i don't believe you i'm thankful for candy you are a candy person. <laughs> I'm not. 
You are a candy. No, person. I just couldn't think of anything else. No, I'm not really. I do like some sweets every now and then, but I try to just have a little bit. Like I, you, you know, like a I, good dessert. You you appreciate a good dessert. I do, but you know what? I noticed uh, the the trip to Fiji recently. They had desserts, and and Europe does this very well too. Right. Proper size portion yeah. desserts. Hey, it's Thanksgiving if you're American and you celebrate Thanksgiving somewhere else. You're out of your mind. Why are we you only do it here. It? Good riddance. It's just it's just too much food. And we have desserts are too big. Fiji, it was a small little sliver. And it was just enough. Yeah. And it was quality, not quantity. Yeah. And you know, you you go to like, would you like the bucket Sunday here at at uh, the Cheesecake Factory? I just don't understand. Well, it's disgusting. It doesn't need to be a factory. You don't need to go to the factory of of cheesecake. Have you ever been to Claim Jumper? Okay, there's a restaurant called Claim Jumper here in the States. Where if you can lift a pie, you can get it for free. No, this is a true story. My mother-in-law, I hope I'm not repeating this story because it's one of my favorites and I may have told you this, but my mother-in-law, God rest her soul, and my wife and our and Cooper, when he was a baby, we went there, it was in our neighborhood, never gone. And they literally, and this is a time, another tangent of this story, they put a full apple on the every plate and a massive piece of kale. It's the first time I had ever seen kale. It was garnish, a full-size apple and a, like a chunk of kale on a, every plate was like a platter. And she ordered uh, chicken and biscuits. And they came out with two biscuits. Uh, as God is my witness, they were like five inches round and about three inches thick. Two of them with two Dolly Parton-sized breasts of chicken on a mound of gravy. And she put it down... And my mother-in-law, genteel southern woman, beautiful, just was looking over here, and he put it in front of her, and she went, oh, fuck, you've made that up. And I burst out laughing. Jill burst out laughing. You mean that? And the guy just looked like appalled, like, what had he done? She goes, oh, fuck, you've made that up. <laughs> And stared at him like waiting for a response. And this like, poor kid's going. The novelty, uh, the novelty no. plate. And she's like, what? and then she finally broke it. Like this is huge, and he understood what was going on. Only to be outdone by like the meatloaf they put in front of me, which was looked like a loaf of bread with gravy. <laughs> eat it. They were like, you're gonna eat it all. <laughs> no, it was just, it was, it's just ridiculous amount of food. The new pizza crepe taco pancake chili bag. Yeah, I don't understand. So when I like sweets, yeah, I've come to appreciate a good dessert. But let's let's keep it let's keep it real. Don't you feel it's a bit ironic that Thanksgiving uh, is derived from a, a day where we were going? When I say we, the, the colonists were going the to pilgrims, yeah. the pilgrims were going to starve because they were terrible farmers. And they, they did not... The salt water ain't making the corn grow, Paul. <laughs> they didn't do... They, they just had a terrible harvest, and it wasn't... Uh, it, was, it was the indigenous people that actually came, and they were like, hey, idiots, we're going to share it because we're smart, and we mm -hmm. provide it, even though <laughs> you gave us all of the diseases. All of them. We're still going to give you... Let me show you what, what food will grow here. Um, Squanto. Look it up. Squanto. Squanto! A proud young brave. Yeah, Squanto was the person he who was, the was like, you come. He was a Native American, indigenous person. They indigenous peoples would be it, it, truly correct. True. They were the people um, that were here first. They crossed over a land bridge to get here. They were here way before we They were, were. going to go back and then <laughs> they, they were like, like oh! Uh, the bridge melted. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No it's about to there. melt again, not my fault. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I, I, I find it ironic that the way that we celebrate this day of like barely being able to have enough food to sustain you for the winter is to gorge, to gorge ourselves. <laughs> I never thought just, of it like and that. We throw away more food that they're like, that's, that's the amount of food that we had in provisions mm. to last us the whole of the winter. And you're like, I don't want any more green bean casserole. <laughs> well, I, like, I, I, I believe like, Three or four cheesecakes from Cheesecake Factory would sink the Mayflower. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's like this is too heavy. Uh, by the way, have you ever seen the re recrea recreation re of the Mayflower? Re recrea the recreation of the Mayflower. What was that? What's the candy with the restorate the restore? What's the candies with the chocolate and the peanut butter comes in little cups? Reese's. 
What are, what are they called? Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Okay. Try to get me. Uh, uh, Reese's. 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 Reese's Pieces. Uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. What'd you say? Reese's. Reese's? Re- Reese's. No. Did I say Reese's like Reese's Monkey? <laughs> no. Reese's. Reese's. <laughs> Reese. Like, hey, it belongs to Reese. Reese's. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Reese's. Reese's? <laughs> Reese's. What did I say? <laughs> Oh, the big bar. It, it would fit on this couch. It's <laughs> tiny. It's just like, oh, God. <laughs> we just crammed in there. The people are like, yes, three people died on the on the uh, journey over. They drowned themselves. They were so, <laughs> they just like, like, I can't do this I, anymore. I would much rather uh, die in the water. Yeah, absolutely. No, but... Um, They'd be on this boat it's with you again, Frank. And the great thing, a lot of people don't know this uh, Thanksgiving, and I'm from New England, so I know this uh, when, from the, the trips we used to take. Not only did they have that big dinner, but then Squanto and the indigenous people murdered all of them. Uh, no, they uh, played American football for the first time. Um, they threw the head of Miles Standish. <laughs> Good pull, Miles Standish. Miles Standish. I know uh, that because of Looney Tunes. I shit you not. But that's literally how the. That's why it comes up Indians. They're like, uh, we'll Cowboys be the Cowboys. You want to be? Uh, just call us Indians. Indians. I don't know. It works better. But the funny thing is, growing up, that was always they were the, the there's the Massa Massasoit Indians. There's the the different. That's, that's just yeah. what they, Seminole, Navajo, yeah. uh, Cherokee tribes, Chippewa. It's like naming flowers. I can do it. Go for it. I like it. I like that. That's last week. Get those. Was it? Uh, it said it's out. I don't remember now. Be small, see me fall. Happy Thanksgiving. I was like, I watched a stroke. I just know you're like your left side no. of your face going. <laughs> well, we've seen that before. When <laughs> when I'm playing Uncharted. <laughs> no, but you know, I think it's no, but it's it's. I've always liked Thanksgiving because I don't know. It's just it, first of all, it's always a Thursday. So you get, you always had Thursday off for, usually it was a half day from school on Wednesday, Wednesday. and all day Thursday and all day Friday. I mean, it was a, it was a pretty much a five day weekend. Right. Like, this is the greatest thing ever. Growing up in New England, leaves are falling, they're changing. My mom loved to go all out. Mm. Um, well, everything. She did, the, she did the, for Halloween, we know she did the pepperoni. Yeah, she, well, she, she well, liked she that. For Thanksgiving. What was, what was your big thing? Oh, for no, there's a, there's a, and it's kind of, it's everything traditional. Did you host? Like, did your, did your family always host or did you go somewhere? We would switch. We would go up to my, my Uncle house? Paul's house, and then some years they came to ours. How far? Back and forth. It was in Danvers, Mass, though. It was just about an hour, an hour 15, which actually as a kid, though, it was like eight-hour drive. What was your was your dad like the typical, like, everybody get in the car, we're leaving at 5 a.m.? Or what was... No, my dad was like, do we have to go? Mm. <laughs> I want to stay here, my chair. The cars are right there. It was his, his, his parents or your mom's? Uh, my mom's, okay. uh, not my mom's parents, but uh, her brother, my uncle Paul, my okay. mom's brother. So we used to go up there. But um, but the thing I, I liked about it though was like, just it was down day, and we would usually play. Uh, we called it Muckle football. And muckle football. We would we would get leaves together. Non magic folk. As much f- <laughs> muckle, uh. and we just we would get leaves and and try to put as many leaves in the backyard, and then we just play, j- basically try to murder each other tackle football yeah. with a nerf the soft football but just try to crush because you don't get hurt on leaves that's what happened to tim and janello that's what yeah. we thought yeah yeah we never saw him we, he got still lost still in a pile of leaves Stop. yeah he was gone just a shoe just a, just a stride right it's funny as and a, a kid. pair of glasses funny as a kid is like put all the leaves together i'm gonna jump out of this tree 30 <laughs> feet up because be fine the leaves are good it's like it's ready you ready <laughs> And down he goes. Um, that is, by the way. Since we're doing cutaways, you know what something is thankful for? Mittens. Oh. oh, thank you, Drew. Love it. That's for uh, that's for Cat. She loves that. So is that what you flash to? How old are you around there when you go to Day of the Mass? When I think about it, yeah, what, what's your I'm age? Twelve to fifteen. Oh. I remember some of those, just because that, I, that was when we lived in Rhode Island, and uh, well, twelve, fifteen. So I mean, Nelson's still there, but I mean, he's he's nineteen, nineteen years old. No, but he's you know he's dating his now wife. And they, they were they, sixteen when they met. Is that right? He was seventeen. She 17. was sixteen. Uh, nice, good. No, but it, I just remember then. You know, we always had the the football games, and it was just it was just a good time that where everybody everybody kind of got along. 
Mm. Um, you know, my mom was a really, really good cook, and and uh, she'd have too much food, but you know, she'd pies, and it was always apple pecan, uh, and, and pumpkin, and you know, it, it was one of those things where you sit down, the beautiful meal, say a little prayer, and there we go, okay, and. Like three minutes later, everyone's like, ah, <laughs> it's just like this, this mess. Was it lunch or dinner? It was a late, late, late lunch, lunch. early dinner. Because uh, then, you know, it's East Coast football games and we just sit down and we would just, uh, there were naps. My grandparents were there. My grandfather would fall asleep in a chair and smack his head and wake him up. It was, it's just little things you always remember. Um my mom once dressed our dog up like a turkey. How big was the dog? Doesn't matter. The point is, my mom's not well. <laughs> yeah. Either way, there's no good version of that. Because if it's like a little terrier, that's cute. If it's like a lab, that's weird. It's like a giant <laughs> turkey. Another thing about the what? original Thanksgiving: uh, no turkey. Oh no, that's no. That's, that was... uh, venison and fish. Yeah, they wouldn't have turkeys. Well, Dirty we don't know that. Birds. Dirty. No, actually, turkeys were seen as magical, wise creatures <laughs> that the pilgrims went and said, how do we plant? And, the tur oh, no, 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 no. and uh, that's why they almost died. It's because the turkeys, they listened to the turkey too much? Well, no, yeah, because the next Thanksgiving They're growing. year, all turkey. They were like, fuck the turkeys. They lied to us, we almost died. Some of us did. It's been a great year for... Uh, We've Russ. covered a lot of ground. Traveled. We have. Met a lot of replayers. We went the furthest place that we've ever gone in our entire, we were the furthest away from home than we've ever been before. 10,000 miles, wasn't it? 10,500. There's 10,500. Johannesburg, Johannesburg, South, South Africa. Africa. You, pff, South Africa. Coming in close mm. at 10,003, was this? it? Or 9,000. 9,000, it was like 1,000 miles. Earth, yeah. Just, just big time. What I'm trying to think of, I know what honestly, and I, I don't, I don't know if you're gonna choose the same one. Favorite episode, mm. or favorite moment? Maybe you know to pick the episode, but like, so um, oh shit, so, yeah. So Drew gave us a oh uh, okay. So not happy. Some of our favorite retro replay moments uh, this year. Drew made up a little list to give us a little reminder of okay. some of the shows. This is great. But I remembered my my number one. <laughs> Are you ready for my favorite? Go. Shit that baby out the window. <laughs> that was the most brutal. That. So we, he oh, and I on this show, no. as you know, or if you're new no. subscriber, <laughs> he made me laugh. No, there's moments where we say, he said, I, you, I broke you. You broke me. Where he, <laughs> that, and he got me. We're playing uh, Terminator uh, and Robocop, right? Isn't it Terminator? No, it was Robocop. Terminator yeah. versus Robocop, or, some, or it's like the both of them are in there, and Damn it, hit Drew. that thing. At, uh, let's let's let's. Uh, can we just cut oh, back and just show no, them what I'm talking about? No. Why would she have it by the window? <laughs> <laughs> Shit that baby out the window. <laughs> Don't you get that in the toilet? You shit that baby out the window. <laughs> there you go. How about you? What are, take a look. I, I'm gonna call back. I mean, kicking off the season. Oh my gosh, you guys! I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something you didn't know about, about your 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 dear whatever the term you call me. First episode of level two, man. Why do I not remember that one? We got to do. We formed this great relationship with uh, our friends at TCL. And we're like, what's the way that we can kick this thing off? Oh, I know. What if we rented out the Chinese theater oh, or... in Hollywood? And we yeah. set up, we're like, we're gonna premiere the first episode of Level Two at the world-renowned, historic TCL Chinese Theater. Now, I had a quick pit stop to make because at the same weekend <laughs> was the Dice Awards in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah. I go to Las Vegas, yes, do. I do that award show, do a quick presentation, had a quick little fun thing, super fun. I'm flying out the next morning. Plenty of time, no worries. 
there is this phenomenal thing that happens in the city of Las Vegas that apparently has never happened before. It's called rain. And it rained. Mm. <laughs> It Do rained. not edit that. Uh, it rained a it, load. It rained so it was a deluge. It shut the city down. I was trapped, trapped yeah. in Las Vegas, which is the worst sentence ever to be said by a human. I was trapped in a rainy Las Vegas, and you see just all of the sin and debauchery just flooding out of the streets into the drainage ditches. Mm. It's terrible. Now I. It was a great dice party. It was a great dice party. How how great was it? It was so great yeah. that I was horrifically hungover. Horrifically hungover. And I was also added onto that a lot of stress because trying to get out could I mean I went to the airport like you're not getting out of here. So I went back to the hotel and And, and let me just, please. just just interject here. Meanwhile, Yes. I Other side of the and Drusephine J. Drusef and Big Papa PJ are at the theater. At the TCL Theater. With live audience coming in. We're going to do a live show. Giving away TVs. Uh, and giving away TVs, exactly. And we get the call that Troy's missed the plane, that they're, they're grounded, he can't get here. So somehow we came up with the idea. Drew. And Drew was able to Skype Troy in from his hotel room up onto the screen so while I was up there alone on the, the which was actually worked out great because he's up on the big screen and I'm below him and he's just like looking like he's crushing me having a lot of fun and so that so we got everything we had prizes there we had all kinds of people pack the theater uh, out yeah it was great 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 time uh, and uh, our friends uh, Brian Amelia Deckard um, made it there that was the first time you uh, met them right? yeah I, I met but I met him in passing and I just I was so you know me Troy's not here, so I'm. So we were scrambling, right. and I was like, "Very nice to meet you," and just didn't even register. And I, I actually told them about that. I, I felt bad. I check out of my hotel room, right. go to the airport. They go, "No." I went, "Okay," and came back to my hotel room. Had to check back in. I was like, "I need, I need a, a hotel room because I'm not, I'm not going anywhere." And oh, I didn't know you got all the way to the airport. I went to the airport, and they were like, and I looked, and I was like, why are there so many people in line right now? And this is Jet Suite X, um, and you're like, you're. I was like, well, what if we go to Burbank? And they were like, they're not getting out either, or not Burbank, but if you go to McCarran and actually go like a Southwest flight or whatever, they're like, nope. And we we watched the last flight go off, and they're like, that's it. And it was, I mean, torrential rain in, in a desert. It's, it was terrible. Anyway. So I went back to the hotel, and the same person that checked me out was like, yes? I was like, I need, I need a room. <laughs> I got to go back in. They were like, oh, OK. He was like, do you want to go back to the same room? I was like, sure. So I went back into my room, and all of a sudden, still filthy. I, I was like, still filthy. And the, but this part of the story is something I learned well we after learned. the fact. <laughs> We're about to go live in LA, and hey, guys, guess what? We got Troy here. And just before Troy gets on camera, what were you doing? I got up to my hotel room and I went, I don't feel good. <laughs> and I think all of both the stress and the alcohol from the evening, I was sitting there and I went, and I've got my laptop set up or my iPad or whatever. I was like, you ready to Skype in? I was like, I'm good to go. They're like, awesome. And I went, I need 30 seconds. And I went and just went, brack. And I mean, all of the bad decisions came out. And then it was bleed, 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 and I wiped my mouth and onto the camera and was like, what is going to happen, everybody? And I literally... From vomit <laughs> to screen, I had just Troy Baker. Oh. Hey, true professional. Yeah, man. Cheers. The show well must done. go on. Show, show, and the show did. Um, and it went well. It went well. You did very, very well. Um, we did well. It, it was great. It was a, we, we made do with what we... We what had we a show, did. Dragon Slayer, which is one of my all-time favorites. Talking about wistful nostalgia, man. Mm, 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 mm. Where am I? I can't see nothing. I think we went to the I'm game. scared. I think we went to the I'm game. scared. What are we doing? <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Bish! What are we doing? What are we doing? Bish! What are we doing? What are we doing? Bish! What are we doing? What are we doing? Bush. What are we doing? Oh. I made over that thing. That's a fire. Mm. It's a fire. Get on my horse. <laughs> Here we go. That was too quick. Um, uh, we had the uh, we had uh, what else? Bass fishing this year. 
nip and tuck got some out there. They got the good fish, but you couldn't catch fish. I, can, I still am, in my life have never caught a fish. Well, 43 years sad. on this planet. That's so sad. Hey, how doing? My name is Turnip. There's my boy Tuck over here taking over the retro replay couch tonight. And we're going to be just showing you little things about taking care of some spinner baits, some spoon baits, maybe some purple wigglers. Purple wigglers. Uh, going to be some good times up there. Hey, hey, if we can get what? in a pinch, we can use one of them fancy feathers from your hat. What, what is this other one? Uh, Independence Day, of course, is always going to be fun because we get to talk about aliens. And you get to say every line that you know by heart. Yeah, forever. I do know. Today, we celebrate... I'm going to say the name of the movie. Our Independence Day. So good. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Oh, I would vote for him in 2020. Narc, absolutely. Okay. Uh, we beat that game. We got to beat a game that I never got to beat in an arcade. Oh, that's right. We did beat that. Oh, you beat me, dude. Oh, it's still going, baby. It's still going. Player one. Wow. Way to beat it up. We beat a game. The we Narc beat a game. Training mission. What? Contact your local DEA recruiter. <laughs> Do we even, do we even get to? Which one? Which one? What do you, on that page right there, what do you think I'm going to bring up? Mm, mm, mm. All day long, baby. All day long. Come on. Oh, good. Yeah, but... baby. No. I'll talk about it right now. No. Mm. It's the Matrix. Damn straight's the Matrix. Oof. No. No. You don't. <sighs> Fine. Show me. Huh? Okay, fine. You still gotta get yourself down. Oh, shit. <laughs> We never got to finish that game, and it's so good. You didn't even get to the part where you get to see all this stuff with Roy Jones Jr. Uh, uh, uh. Man, it's so good. Well, we covered a lot of... Fuck Jeff Speakman. Fuck you, Jeff Speakman. Shinobi. Wow. <clears throat> we got a lot... Fuck Jeff Speakman we had for that. sure. Yep, we um, giving to him. There's a couple more. That, that I want to uh, mention. We did have, we'll get to that in a second. One of my all time favorite episodes of this entire season. Go. Modern Warfare. I feel the mistake that we made is we made it too much about the game. And it's not about the game, it's all about the hang. And if we don't hang, then, then we don't have an episode. If we have a game, we don't have an episode. If we don't have a hang, we do not have an episode. I would really like to have a knife fight with you right now. We'll have a knife fight? Let's have a knife fight and solve this. Yeah, it, 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 that, was a, that was an interesting one. That was an interesting one. Well, you know what's interesting? It was, it was um, so I've thought a lot about that. It was, you know, it, it was the perfect storm after traveling so much. Yeah. Uh, that was right after South Africa, Scotland. We been literally a like a day 48 hours. Yeah. No, a day, right? Yeah, we got back on that. Yeah, it was like that Monday we shut that. We down. had about thirty six hours, and then we're here. And I remember, I remember looking at it. If you can go back and watch that episode, I just looked tired, just and just. I remember it just still. Had, my body was like, "Do we eat or do we poop now?" <laughs> what I had no idea, and uh, yeah, it was it was uh, it was a test. It was it was revealing, but it was um, for all of us. Yeah, for everybody. Yeah. There was I, you guys don't know this, but I mean, we like. There were meetings, there were conversations about this. It's like, what do we do? We've 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 talked about how this is. We we want to we want to be real and we want to be accessible and we want to just show this this thing for what it is. Yeah. Um, and we went back and forth. And it was like, well, uh, for me personally, it was uh, there was some fear that was involved in that. I was like, well, how much do we show? And right when we were in London was when we aired that episode, or right after. So I think it aired that Thursday, and we touched down that We Thursday. actually couldn't join the live chat because we, we were, were in the, the air, and yeah. they had no Wi-Fi. And we landed, and we found out... People loved it. People loved it. And yeah. they, it, it was, it was the, one of the coolest moments for our community 
because you guys showed us you got us and we we try everything that we can whether it be from this couch or in front of you live whether it be all of us in the live chat um that we've got you um and it was it was a really good opportunity for you guys to show us that you've got us um and that's 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 why i'm i'm super thankful for that episode yeah i thought it was really good and it was it was it was good that you know one of the big things i remember you talking about is it shows that there can be disagreements yeah um between us between any of you guys out there and you can just hang in there and you just have that hard conversation and get past it move yeah on. and and the great thing about it is like there it is it's out in front of you don't we're not going to bury it and you know because that it, it never works that's right. like, it's going to come back it's going to fester and just come back you know twofold uh, but when you address something, when you put it out there and you're aware that there's a problem and you address it, you can get past it quickly. Yeah. And be able and, and truly go, all right, that was that. Now moving on. Just yeah. let, let it go because it's like, that's, that's done. And uh, I, think, I think a lot of people appreciated that. I think it's easy to find a way out, but it's hard to find a way through. And I think what that moment yeah, taught like us was find a way through it, sit and talk it out, um, and do so honestly and with respect. Um, and if you can't, yeah. I'm gonna add something to that that I was just thinking about. It. If you can't, then, I, I mean, if you truly can't, if you, if you try and you, if you, try and you can't, mm. um, that's, that's one thing. But if you truly can't get, decide you don't wanna do that, uh, that I don't know if that, you, that's something you need to look at. Is, uh, is, that, is that friendship something? That's real friendship that you want to do. There's um, nothing wrong with breaking up with a friend. If, yeah. if it's not a friendship that you should have, if it's not a relationship you, you should have, then love yourself enough to respect yourself enough to, to let that relationship go. Um, it's, it's one of the hardest lessons that I've learned in my adult life. Uh, and it's okay to break up with a friend. It's okay to break up with a friend. Yeah, but it's... it's, it's By it, God, if you can by all means, instead of yeah. finding a way out. Yeah, but there's gotta be a desire to, you know, it's, it's just, and, and it has to be on both sides. And if you have the desire and that person doesn't, you gotta look at that. Like, are you giving up, are you giving too much of yourself? I mean, I think that's a, it's an important thing. One of the biggest things I think we're both thankful for, of course, is uh, the community, 100%. Uh, the replayers, you know, I mean, we, we did a lot of live shows throughout the world, the UK, got, <laughs> the UK basically, it got bombarded. Yeah. Okay, we, it was like it was the reverse British invasion. <laughs> yes, exactly. We we uh, we we hit where we hit Glasgow, Manchester, Burley. London twice. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's been uh, it's been a busy time. So uh, we got a chance to meet everybody, and certainly thankful for them. And they put together something for us. Yeah. They? So we asked our founding five hundred, how did they find this community, and what has this community meant to them? And this is what they sent us, and we wanted to share it with you guys. Retro replay came into my life at exactly the moment I needed it. I remember just clicking on it and just falling in complete love with it. Tori and Nolan playing retro games. Heck yeah, I'm gonna subscribe to that. And it was the best decision I ever made. Just seeing their friendship um, and being able to watch them obviously through Retro Replay was like exciting. It's a time for me to just let go, laugh, kick back with some old school games. So I dived in and watched Spider-Man, which I found really, really funny. And I remember laughing through the entire thing and it just being what I needed. It's just, it's just awesome. I enjoy the show. I had no idea a year and a half later it was going to be as big as it is now. It's been a saving grace. I don't feel like an oddball for, you know, wanting to play games. This channel has done so much for me, more than anyone could ever know, and I'm very grateful for that. The replays are, you, you cannot wish to meet a better group of people. Thanks to the encouragement and friendships I made through this wonderful community, I made life-changing achievements that shaped me into the person I am today. I made so many friends and I'm happy to be a replayer. I just wanted to say how much I love this community. I found the most supportive, positive people I could have ever met on the internet. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you to Nolan, to Troy, Drew, PJ, just everyone that is a part of Retro Replay.
I may not talk to all of you guys, but you are all important to this community. And that's exactly what it is. The, the, the replayer community is a family and like we are so tight and we are so close. And you would, you know, like attracts like and all of these people are a reflection of you. So thank you very much. It's those moments with the community that it's something I'm, I'm really, really grateful for. It, it allows me, if you've been at some of these live shows or if you've been at conventions and have met us, then you've probably heard me say this or both of us say this, but understand as, as awkward as that exchange can often be, it's, it's, it's awkward on both sides. Um, it's hard for me, it's hard for you to take a compliment. It's, just, it's one of the most challenging things to just say thank you. I immediately wet my pants. <laughs> We love giving um, people an opportunity to share with us what either this show or the projects that we've been involved with have meant to them. Um, and we often take that as just like, we're gonna pass it, like if it's uh, some people who The Last of Us have meant so much or Uncharted has meant so much, um, we take that and we pass that on to the team. Um, and so we kind of become the water bearers for them. But when it specifically is about like, hey, this is what this community has meant to me and one of my favorite moments of this year is was being in Manchester and bringing Kessie up on stage, and and she rocked it, fucking rocked she it. She rocked it, and and the loudest applause of the entire night was for her. Yeah, and like that moment, and it was it was that moment for our community to see that it's not us, it's us, yeah. it's all of us doing this together, and that we stand shoulder to shoulder. Same um, way we did with Cat. Have you guys rallied around her, dude? You know, uh, and it, she's said some ups and downs and back down and back up. And, and we're going through it with her every Yeah, and step. everybody's been there for her. You know, we just sent, uh, sent a big shout out of love to her um, on our last trip. Our last show. Um, Pagan <laughs> got robbed. Um, yeah. And we were able to, if you're watching this uh, person who stole her things, Man. Unsubscribe, dude. Yeah. Uh, Just unsubscribe. We, uns um, we, we unsubscribe we don't need you. you. We don't need you here. Um, we were able to, uh, the community was what pointed that out to us, and we were able to remedy that and, and be able to replace that. Um, it's these people, it's, it's, it's Pyro, it's Kessie, it's Giffen Grace, it's James, mm -hmm. it's Tina. Um, there's, oh, there's... how about a little special shout out to James? <laughs> yeah, James. 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 You're James. James. Uh, we, we can't say enough about James and Tina. Tina, this is my last sip of Guinness to you. Golly. Thank you for everything this year. Thankful for Tina. Thankful for Tina. Without her, yeah. uh, your birthday, and, and James, um, the, your birthday surprise would not have gone off. Is that what you call it? Mm. You call it a surprise? It went I, off. Yeah, we haven't talked about that. Should we talk, talk about, about that? that? Um, if you were not aware, uh, the lovely uh, and very fortunate people that were at uh, MCM in London in October, mm. um, October 31st is uh, Uncle Nolia's birthday. Um, many of you may know that. Many of you may also know that one thing that he is absolutely terrified of um, are clowns. Yeah. So um, cool. this moment happened. Yeah, that happened. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I had told him for you know, weeks. Go, just, go, go, please, please. Stop. I wasn't kidding. I asked you I, I, on the way down here. I was like, "You can tell me right now if 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 you were like, ah, just plan it up." I was one hundred percent surprised. I had zero idea, and I I told you this too. There were of all the you know the Pennywise masks in front was creepy enough. I turned. There was one here, one right behind him. When I looked to my left. I don't know who you are, uh, but you do an incredible cosplay because I think you are pure evil. Because <laughs> she just looked and she had like, she didn't have like fake teeth. They were like real teeth. And it's just, and, and like, and I was like, uh, and I immediately, that's when <laughs> I, I sit know. there and I go, and I, he, you know this, as a, as a kid, I would see scary movies. I had to protect the jugular. Because the knife's gonna get my hand first, I'll have time to get away. But then the the way that oh my god, it you just put it like the the uh, in your mind, <laughs> this made perfect sense to me. You're like, I understand that all these people think this is a joke. Yeah, I know everybody thinks it's a joke, 
But that one right there <laughs> is, a, is going to murder it's a me. Serial killer that was like, <laughs> yeah, just happened upon like it just fall, fell in line with somebody the rest doesn't of like clowns. <laughs> uh, Hi. <laughs> that was the one who didn't know she was dressed yeah, like a clown. Yeah, yeah, this is one that was. Just like, like, <laughs> Richard McGonagall is Pennywise. Um, it was. <laughs> oh, it's the most horrifying. <laughs> 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 uh, hey, Nate. Yeah. We all float down uh, here. Time right? to float, Nate. <laughs> oh, no, that's <laughs> awful. That's terrible. I have a weird... There's a lot of people that I know that, that have, like, strange associations with, with holidays, and, and, and that, that first, like, Halloween is, like, the last port that they sail from before they kind of go off into the sea of depression because the... Uh, the holidays just don't necessarily... For some people, it, it reminds them of this wistful nostalgia and... and yeah. And being around family, and there's a lot of people that don't. I, I grew up, uh, you know, we kind of have similar stories, like our, our, our families, whatever, <clears throat> and our, our parents or whatever, but I mean, by and large, we grew up in a, f- a decently well-adjusted home. But there's some people that, that struggle with that, and, and you and I grew up in a very similar fashion, like our parents had their problems, but by and large, we had a fairly well-adjusted home to grow up mm-hmm. in, right? Um, so we have these, I, I have growing up, like we went to my, my grandfather, my dad's dad, um, his sister, Aunt Sis, I have, to this day I have no idea what her name is or was. Uh, it was just, we went to Aunt Sis's house because we always went to Thanksgiving there. It was out in East Texas, same thing, about an hour, hour and a half mm-hmm. drive. You go there um, and you eat and you pass out the car on the way home and you're home. But there was one year and I, I, I was probably... 20, uh, maybe, I was plus minus 21. So either, I, I was either plus minus 20, so like 19 or 21, I can't remember. And I had already moved out. I was on my own. My sister had her own family at that point. Um, and we were supposed to go somewhere. I think we were going to my, huh. I think we were going to um, a grandparent, so my, my, my dad's parents, uh, which probably would have been my grandmother's last Thanksgiving. I didn't think about that. Um, but we got in a fight for some reason. I don't even know, of course, what it was about. And I decided I was going to stay. And I did. And in some rebellious act of defiance, and I'll prove it to you. And they left and I stayed. And I realized every restaurant closes for Thanksgiving. And every store closes for Thanksgiving. And the only thing that I could find that was still open was Jack in the Box. So I had an ultimate cheeseburger. How old were you? Like somewhere around 20, 19, 20, 21. That's, that's all that I could find. And I remember just thinking, I was like, this was so stupid. And I think it was the first moment that it occurred to me that as a child, you're given Thanksgiving and this is what it is. And this is what you participate. But as you get older, for right or for wrong, you have the ability to make this holiday whatever it is. And there's some people that don't. Whatever you want it to. Whatever, whatever you want it to be, right? <clears throat> right. So there's some people that like they don't. I don't. They don't spend it with their family because their family is just a nightmare. And so what they do is they spend it with their friends. Um, we just heard that term. Friend, really, friendsgiving. Friendsgiving. I love that. Um, and I. I now it's 20 years later and, and now we're at the point where Pam and I have, we have our, we've done this for eight years now, nine years now, um, where we go up and we get a cabin in the woods and we have our own tradition. Tradition. Yeah, we started our yeah. own thing. That's so now cool. we get to do this with Traveler and I remember last year was the first time he was going upstairs by himself. He was like, like crawling upstairs and we're freaking out and we go on hikes, like two hikes a day. Um, and we have had everything from amazing chef cooked cuisine, like holy crap, this is the best turkey I've ever had in my life, and casseroles and, and all sorts of stuff, to I shit you not, Red Baron frozen pizzas, um, being too high and watching Wizard of Oz. But you know that proves something though. What's up? It's not the meal. It's absolutely not the meal. It's 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 like we say, it's not about the game, it's about, it's the, all hang. about the hang. That's and, and that I think that's something that's. Uh, that's quite telling. I mean, like Thanksgiving, uh, not to turn this in a sour note, but 
or dour, I guess better. Uh, Thanksgiving took a major turn in our life uh, a dozen years ago when my mother-in-law passed away on Thanksgiving. I didn't know it was Thanksgiving. Well, she technically was the next day, but it was just after midnight. And we Oof. were all around, the, but we had Thanksgiving dinner and then went into the bedroom when they said it was time and we all held her, we held her hand and, you know, I didn't sent, know and let her, well, she passed. And uh, it's been, it, obviously, it's never the same Thursday uh, every year. So it's, a, it's, it's, you know, the date's the same, but... Um, the holiday is what keeps The holiday's it. the same one. So uh, I believe it was the 25th, I want to say... And it's terrible, but uh, I don't remember that. But anyway, it's always um, that time of year, and it's always been difficult for, for Jill. But um, I was really tight with her. And I remember that it just, since then, it's always been a little awkward because you almost feel guilty about, having fun. hey, we're going to... Yeah, but, you know, but it's not like about having fun. It's just, it, it, it's about getting together. And when I think about growing up and when I look back on all those things, uh, for me it was, <clears throat> yeah, there was a lot of busyness and, and there was a little uh, tumultuousness in, in my upbringing. Mm -hmm. And one thing I think I loved about Thanksgiving is everybody kind of got along. For one day. For one day, everybody's just kind of like, this is going to be fun. Oh, we got fire in the fireplace, it's football today, and the food that my, my mom, the, you'd wake up in the morning and... Other than the smell of coffee and some, you know, Danish or, or some kind of cinnamon, cinnamon roll, cinnamon, I've always done that, cinnamon roll, there was there was stuff was cooking and there was a plan. You walk in that kitchen, there's a plan going on. It's a war zone. I'm gonna get my stuff and get out. Um, and I so, but now we're like we're doing something different this year. We're actually gonna be in Colorado with Jill's cousin and his wife and their two little kids. And the four of us are going to go up. We're just going to fly into Denver. We're going to drive up to... Uh, Give me address. To, 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 I don't, I, actually, I don't remember exactly where we're going, but I don't care because we're all going to be together and it's yeah. going to be great. And I, I like that it's... I know some people have that exact same tradition and that's great. And I, But I think as long as you just... It's, it's one of those days where it's really about friends and family. Yeah. Where you ju it's just about being thankful for, you know... You know, taking drawing a breath and actually being together. So I think it's uh, I I I am so looking forward to this year's Thanksgiving just because it's been such a slog this last year. Slough. That's a different show. Uh, <laughs> it, no, it's been rough, man. Yeah. It's been really hard. And and I don't think I think looking back, I realize how how difficult because when you're in it, you're just in it. You're trying to get through it, and then. When you finally get to the other side and you look back, you go, "Wow, this was this was hard. This is and and you know mentally, especially on your kids mm. being you know displaced from their home and then it just it just it just was it was hard. And uh, so I got I got a lot to be thankful for on that on that front, just family wise. So yeah, so I think Thanksgiving has you know it's 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 been it's been great memories, good memories, sad memories, yeah. but. Uh, their memories and their, their moments and and you know we're just the sum of, of of all our life is just the sum of all your experiences right so uh you like to log those away and and i just look forward to the next one and just yeah. to see what the what's going to happen and again this year is going to be a completely new different um thanksgiving than than me or anybody in my family's ever had so looking forward to it the unknown and we're looking forward to making new memories with you guys. Um, thank you for joining the live chat. Thank you for coming to the live shows. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for giving us soup. Um, thank you for just being a part of this community. Thank you for supporting each other. Um, is is the, the number one thing that we can thank you for because uh, this is truly, we, the internet's not wanting for negative space and you guys have really created um, a positive place so so you honor us um, and you you make it easy for us to sit here on this couch so um, thank you for tuning in to, to this very special Thanksgiving episode um, we ask you what do we play next uh -huh.